Morning everybody, welcome to another edition of Webby Sports Roundup here in my manor in sunny Tenerife in Kalasovaki. The Kalima's gone, it's 23 degrees, it's absolutely beautiful. Hope you're going to enjoy today's show. On today's show we've got one or two big shout outs. Rugby Union, Gallagher Premiership started back last week after the European Games. Six Nations starts this weekend with a big game starting tonight. CD Tenerife from uh, the main man, Amada Sir, the general Chris Todd's coming on. A little bit later on, we've got Lee Sobot, who is the main tipster of the week, but still another winner for three weeks. So come on, Lee. Was going to do a little bit of football transfer news. It was deadline day last night, but uh, very little to show you about. So I think we give that a miss until next week's walk with the big boys, Terry number two and my Simon number three. A little bit of news on Hendon and Chatham Town, my local football league boys. Uh, cricket, the first test over in India was this week and the second test started today. News on that. Uh, what else we got? A little bit of boxing. Johnny Goggles came on for one and a half minutes. He's given me a little bit of boxing news for the weekend. And last but not least, motor racing. My good, good pal. He's not in the best of health, but he's my good mate. He's done a little bit of a video for me on some fantastic news for Lewis Hamilton yesterday afternoon. So stay tuned in. Webby Sports Roundup here in my manor is sunny Tenerife. First and foremost, right, welcome back. Here we are with the big shout outs. Only one or two this week. First and foremost, as you most people know now, unless you had your head buried in the sand, we did our very first live down at the Moonlight Bar on Tuesday afternoon. It went superb. The only small problem we had was the Wi Fi, and what Tim done was absolutely fantastic. Bit of perfect perfectionist, and we got out of it. It's not great on your big TV, but on your phones, you can watch it. Next venue, will be even better. We'll check the Wi-Fi and we'll make sure it is brilliant. So thanks for all the boys and girls that helped put that together on Tuesday afternoon. So go to that to check it out. First of all, and big shout out to Michael in the Moonlight Bar, who's the boss down there. Let us use his premises. So cheers, Mickey boy. Second one is uh, my big Dino. Big Blue Nose, big Birmingham City fan. If you remember, I interviewed him uh, late last year, middle, and got just under 2,000 views. Top man, Dino. And... It was his young lady, Ellen's birthday this week. So, belated happy birthday, sweetheart. Uh, and a big shout out to Steve Sturton, Cove Rangers, phenomenal. He gave me a couple of little messages. He said, Webby, I'm a big fan of Cove Rangers. Bred and born there because a lot of people, as you know, are Rangers, Celtic, Hibs, Killy, Aberdeen, all those. Well, I need some small clubs. Your East Fives, your Dumbartons of the world, your Stanley Smear, your Hamiltons. So, that's what we need. So, top man. To you, Steve. Thanks for the comments. Let's have some more. Next week, we're going to do a, another walk. We're going to be, but it's not a sponsored walk. That will come on later in the year. Me, Terry, Big Simon, and I'm going to get one more. So we're going to have a, a nice walk next week. Might even go live. I'll see if I can get the comments to do that. And I'll ask Tim what I've got to do with his pressing the buttons and stuff. So um, that's that. Don't forget Scott's Corner yesterday. Any of your big boys of Scotland or north of the border, deadline day there. I want to know why it was 11.30 in Scotland and 11 o'clock in England. If anybody knows, let me know, please. I didn't even Google it last night, I forgot, to tell you the truth, because I was tired. Um, right, that's that lot done. Now, I didn't put this in last night, but put it in this morning because um, there's a lot of people into darts. I must admit, I do like it when I got a chance. Luke Littler avenges his World Championship final defeat by Luke Humphreys with a 6-2 victory on his Premier League debut in Cardiff last night. Littler has turned 17 since losing that epic battle four weeks ago and won a place on the Premier League road show. Well done, my son. But I think he lost to the Welshman straight after. But that's a great turnaround, that, isn't it? Right. Let's go on to a bit of rugby union. Gallagher Premiership, you know. Have anybody noticed I've not got my Gloucester rugby shirt on? I think it's the first time ever. I wore this just a little bit warmer, I thought. Just felt a bit comfortable. And I'm glad I did because Tim must have been thinking at the box this morning. Because guess what he's... You know, he's to be honest with you, he's going to come on now. I've got to show you. You're not going to believe this. He's thinking at the box and I can't believe... Look what he's wearing! No, he's doing the same, but it's that yellow one. I can't believe it. 
He's got the yellow one, I've got the white one. Yeah, but there's a difference. Mine says Fred Perry. He says Primani. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. no. uh, I said to the missus this morning, I said, oh, I need a new T-shirt. And he, she says, stick a, well, stick a yellow one on and annoy Webby, she says. <laughs> Again, he's all annoying me. Pain in the neck. He's pain in the bum. Cheers, Tim. Top man. Uh, right. Rugby Union Gallagher Premiership kicked off again last week. Some massive games on Friday. Saw Leicester go to Harlequins at the Stoop and beat them by 20 points to 19. Northampton are flying. They beat bottom of the table Newcastle 38-13. And the big game of the weekend, a massive local derby. Bristol took on Bath and Bristol absolutely romped them. 57 points to 44. I've not seen the highlights. I'm going to have to watch that sometime over the weekend. And Saracens, who the league champions, they took on Exeter at home and they beat them by 40 points to 22. A little bit of news before, before we go to Gloucester Sale. Andy Black waiting for it, son. Um, news on the second rower, Mario Otoji. New long-term contract sign at the Saracens and he's a massive England international. Well done to the Saracens boy. Right, spoke to... Andy Blatter last night, I said, you're going to be on the show. He says, no, no. He sa I says, you're on the show tomorrow, Blackie. I'm telling you, big Man City fan, a good lad. He really is a, he's a top, top fella. We watched Gloucester play Sale, and he's from Manchester. Sale's Manchester, and Gloucester give you an hammering son, 32-20. He said, Webby, do behave. We should have been three tries up in the first half, but you weren't. Look at the score, read the paper, get your book out and get your phone out. Have a look at the score. We got the points. Gloucester turn around. First win for 100 days. They've only won two before, but we're turning the corner. Gloucester, 32. Sale, 20. Andy Black, love you, big man. Right. On top of that, Six Nations kicks off. Ireland, who are the champions of the Six Nations after winning last year against France in the final. Now it kicks off tonight. Ireland taking on France tonight, 8 o'clock kickoff, over the Stop de France. Um, and then you've got on Saturday, Italy taking on the big boys of England, quarter past two kickoff, and Wales taking on Scotland, 4.45 tomorrow. There'll be some cracking games. Now, all these people out there, footballers, are saying about egg chasers, you're having a laugh. Let me tell you something, this is a man's game, all right? Rugby is a man's game. Watch this space, and if you've got a chance, watch the Six Nations. You will love it. Time for me to shut up. It's time to bring CD Tenerife, the general, the main man, football. Amara, sir, Chris Todd. Toddy, tell him what happened to CD Tenerife this week, pal. Take it away, son. Can you guess where I am? Anyway, tomorrow, Saturday, Tenerife play Andorra. I know it's a bit early to talk of must-win games, but tomorrow is a must-win game. Maybe not mathematically, still plenty of games to play, but I think heads will drop slightly amongst the fan base if we can't pull off the, the win against Andorra. Not an easy game, mind you. Andorra, decent side, play good football. If you want to see a decent game, get yourselves up to the Eliodora from tomorrow, 8 o'clock kickoff. Tickets start at €15. Euros. It's such a bargain here, football. Our, our season tickets are €125 Euros for the whole season. 21 matches. The cup games, they charge us slightly extra, extra €5, Euros, €10 Euros here and there. So it's good value for money. And the football, we haven't scored enough goals, let's face it. The defence has been good up front we've been lacking not the fault of the two strikers who we really like en Enrique Gallego and Angel both 36 years old but they put in a shift but they're not they're not getting the service at the moment but Hoax brings eternal and if Tenerife can win tomorrow we could be by Monday only three points off the playoffs and there's in theory some winnable matches on the way. The game after, we're going to Villarreal, and I will do a, a special outside broadcast from the Valencia area about the game. And then uh, we come back and we're at home again on the Monday. So uh, another three points, hopefully. Let's go.
Cheers, Toddy. Good information, big man. And good luck this weekend. Need the three points. Right. Time for our horse racing fancy. He's given me a couple, actually. Uh, he's just gone on his jollies. I'm going to ask him soon if he'll do a little video for me. Save me reading it out. So let me see what I've got. Let me see what I've got. Oh, dear. I think that's it. Right, Webby. Here we go. Especially for Ash. He loves his GGs. Saturday, Hermes Allen, 235 at Sandown, 5 to 2 favourite. The day's main handicap's got wide open, and Hermes Allen looks a solid favourite for the grade one for the top team of Nichols and Cobden. Bit more on there, but it goes a bit long winded, that. So that's your first one. He's messaged me again last night. He said, Webby, I'm going to give you a second one if you like. Corbett's Cross, the second favourite. Oh, has not been declared, so it's a 2 to 1 favourite now, and the first one I just told you. If you want another one at a better price, or a second one, St. Davy, 310 at Sandown tomorrow. It's around the 8 to 1 mark. Good each way on that one. Uh, in a big handicap, totally unexposed. John Joel Neal runner, who beat a good yardstick last time in Emmitom and could be on a good mark here for a handicap debut. There's your one. Right. What else we got? I was going to give one or two transfer news but it was transfer deadline day last night as I say England 11 o'clock Scotland 11.30 I, I don't know why if anybody knows let me know but there was very little to talk about one or two big ones done early doors but nothing massive so we're going to leave that to next week to the boys that's my number two Terry and my number three Simon right Let's go down to Long League Football, uh, Hendon Football Club. Lee Allinson, the manager, who we all know is dad, Ian Allinson, ex-Arsenal footballer, who is the general manager down there. Hendon, eighth in the league, took on AFC Tooting. Uh, they're fifth and in, in the Southern League Premier. And what happened was 3-3 three, three draw. Some bad mistakes, Ian told me. So at the end of the day, a point apiece, which is probably fair result. Over to Chatham Town Football Club, Chatham was second, took on Canvey Island, who's 13th, and they give him a bit of a battering by five goals to one last Saturday. And they played on Tuesday in the Isthmian League, and they lost it home to Hashtag United, three goals to two, who were 11th, so probably a bit wary on their legs playing in three game games later. Right, in a couple of weeks' time, I'm going to get my uh, roving reporter, Wagsy, Massive West Ham fan, as we all know. Loves his cricket. He's probably watching it now. It's the second test over there in India. Now, India, don't forget, basically, they're the best home nation in the world in test series. So, first and foremost, first test last week, five days, five tests. You would never have thought what the outcome would have been. OK? England went to bat, 246 all out. Stokes, Top score for England with a 17. India went in 436. So we're basically 190 behind, aren't we? So you look, you think, no chance. Anyway, we went in again, got 420. Pope, 196 phenomenal innings. Then India didn't want many to win. They wanted something like 230. We got them all out for 202. First innings, Root took four wickets and one into Hartley, got seven wickets in the second innings and we beat the Indians by 28 runs. I know this is going out uh, tonight at seven o'clock, but this morning at T, England were 225 for three, I think, in the first innings. So in a couple of weeks' time, we'll get Wagsy on and we'll do a little bit of roving reporting to find out what he thinks about the uh, five-day tests against India. Time to get the big man on, Johnny Goggles, big Millwall fan. It's been quiet on the boxing uh, front lately, but we've got some massive fights coming up, as you know. Usyk against Fury, that's a massive one. And anti Joshua fighting as well. But before that, there's a couple of bouts tonight, or tomorrow, beg your pardon, and Johnny Goggles is going to let you know what's happening. So, Johnny, tell the viewers uh, what's up on the weekend on the boxing front, please, mate. Hello, everyone. It's me, Johnny Goggles, and I'm back again for another Webby's Boxing Roundup. Just a quick one for me this week, with two fights coming on this weekend. So the first one in the UK, we have Joshua Barazzi versus Dana Siz, live on Sky Sports. Former sparring partners, they've been building this up now. 
It's been it was postponed last year, and this is the re uh, rescheduled bout. Both unbeaten, both looking to take that next step in their careers. It's going to be a good bout. Also on Saturday, over in the States, we have Connor Ben taking on Peter Dobson. As we all know, Connor Ben isn't sanctioned to fight in the UK because of his apparent failed drug tests and his ongoing troubles with the BBOC. So he's fighting again in the States. Again, both fighters are unbeaten. Connor Ben's come out, I see this week, that he is interested in taking on Devin Haney, which for me, that's a huge step up. Um, and it would be interesting because he can take it that level to challenge for world titles. But is he ready? Let's see how he gets on this Saturday. So I see it's going to be a quick one. So that's it for me for this week. I'll be back next week for more boxing news and fight coverage. And don't forget, if you like what you see and like what you hear, please like and subscribe to Webby's Sports Roundup. Cheers, Johnny. Absolutely superb. Nice, short and sweet. That's how we like it. Right. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to me, Webby Sports Roundup, here in my manor in Chaos Slovakia in sunny Tenerife, all you've got to do, get that like button. I don't get many like buttons, so let's start hitting, so I keep forgetting to say, hit that like button, subscribe for free, don't cost you a penny. Any comments down below, please, if you don't agree with what I say, or you do agree, or what have you, please get onto the show. More the better. It's your show, not mine. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make it big around the world. We've got some big ideas coming up very, very soon, starting next week. So stay tuned in for that. And on top of that, we've got a Facebook page. My man Foggy was out last week. I did have a good chance to sit and have a good beer with him, to be honest with you. Uh, he was poorly for the first couple of days. Haley was poorly for the next few days. They got home yesterday, absolutely knackered. Don't start work till Monday. Just had a talk with him. We've had a few new people on the Facebook. Um, and he's a cracking lad. He really, really is. He thoroughly enjoyed himself, but would have been better if he would have been too poorly. But Foggy, love you loads, mate. Thanks for all the work you're doing. Um, I'll see you very, very soon. Um, last but not least, there was a big, uh, how can I say, decision on Formula One yesterday. And when I mean big, I mean big. So I thought to myself, shall I? I thought, yeah, good pal of mine, Ian Bullock. We call him Bully. First met him many, many years ago when he's come in my pub. And he would drink cider, he don't mind me saying so, as if it was going out of fashion. Then he used to come in my second pub, then he used to come in my third pub, the world famous Garner Bar. Drink cider as if it was going out of fashion. Anyway, so he's not been too well, he's a bit poorly, but I love him a bit. And he's going to be coming out soon, uh, stay in my apartment in a few weeks' time. So I'm going to get him on the show. And I thought, shall I? Yeah, we will do. So I rang him up last night. I said, do me a favour, Bully. I know you're not well, a little bit of health problem, which hopefully things will get better. Anyway, I said, do me a little video on the news of the Formula One yesterday. Breaking news. He said, Webby, for you, anything. So please... Look, listen, and take it all in. He's a top, top fella. So, Bully, what I'm going to say is do me a favour. Take it away, son. Let them know what's happening. Hiya, oh, yeah. this is Bully here, reporting for Webby Sports Roundup on today's, today's sensational breaking news that Lewis Hamilton is moving from Mercedes to Ferrari for the 2025 season. This may well come as a shock to a lot of people as he signed a two-year deal with Mercedes until the end of 2025. This may well prove to be a good move as Mercedes have done very little in the last two years. Also, if he wins races with the third outfit, it will raise his status in the all-time rankings. However, it is going to be a new playing field for the 2025 season. As there are new sport, sporting regulations coming in, i.e. new engines, new chassis, so all teams will have a completely new car, so nobody knows really where we're going to be at with that. But I'm sure they're going to be paying a lot of money for it, and he must feel he's got a better chance of winning a further world title. And most drivers wish to drive for Ferrari over their career. It's a few football guys who'd be like playing for Manchester United or Real Madrid. Only time will tell if this move this move proves to be successful. We'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. This is Bully, reporting for Webby Sports Roundup. 
If you like what you hear and you like what you see, remember, subscribe. It's absolutely free. Goodbye. Bully on the money, son. You did two. You did the first one, and Dawn says, let him do a second one with a side view. But, and what I did was, I sent it to a few of my pals, and I said, which one do you like the best? First one or the second one? Terry says, you like the first one, but you, you, met, you mentioned Man United. So he said, put the second one in. And 99% was the first one, the first one you did. So we banged the first one in, mate. Super, I had a tear in my eye, I will tell you. So it is what it is. Top man, thank you for that. Right, all I'm gonna say now, I'm gonna go up and have a coffee. If you haven't subscribed to me, press that button, like button as well, comments down below, Facebook page. Um, I wanna thank me bottle washer, me cameraman, director, producer. Boom, get in there. I just straight off the cuff. And I'm glad he's wearing that lovely yellow shirt that uh, Christine told him to pull it on this morning. So we're gonna have the coffee, I'm gonna buy the coffee, and I'm, what I'm gonna say is for me, Webby, absolute quality. Next week, more things happening, more lives happening. It's gonna get bigger and bigger, and I'm looking forward to it. Come on, Coventry City Football Club tomorrow at Norwich City. Um, gonna be a big one. Sarah Childs, get ready for it. And Sheffield Wednesday, big shout out to me pals, North Tenerife man, Denise, Sheffield Wednesday fans, and Around the Grounds Lee. Big game next Tuesday, FA Cup replay. Are you coming down to watch it? I'll be there. Well, I won't be, but I wish I were. From Webby Sports Roundup, from in my manor in sunny Tenerife, I wish you all the best and all the luck in the world. And I'll see you later. Webby's passion. Subscribe for free.